Hey everybody, I'm in southwestern Colorado in San Luis Valley, which used to be a lake millions of years ago. Sediment from those mountains behind me landed in those lakes, in that lake, and settled at the bottom. Uh, after millions of years, when that lake dried up, this was the result. The Great Sand Dunes, largest sand dunes in North America. I'm coming here to take a walk, have a good time, sandboard down and hopefully have a good time uh, let's go all right on my way up to the dunes I already have a correction the sand dunes are not millions of years old it's about a half a million 440,000 years old. So it's been not that long since the lake's been dry. But the sediment has been coming down here for millions of years. So this area used to be home to the Ute tribe, Navajo, and a few other tribes back in the day. And uh, eventually it got settled. Um, the first European or non-native person was uh, a Spanish explorer. He was a governor, I think, of New, I think it was New Spain at the time. So uh, hundreds of years now, it's a national park. So knocking another national park off my list. So. I'm about 7,500 feet in altitude, so I'm not used to being this high, but sort of out of breath between being at altitude and uh, walking through this sand. It's not, it's not very easy to walk through, but uh, looking forward to getting up there. If you come here, summer months are usually the busy, busiest, but it's so popular that people here also in the winter. So. You may be able to see the people uh, walking up the dunes. There's some little tiny dots at the top too. By the way, I'm, there's not much wildlife here in the dunes itself. I mean, compared to the rest of Colorado, but there is this cool uh, beetle called the Great Sand Dune Beetle. I'm looking for one. I don't know if I'll find it, but uh, they're really cool looking. So my goal is to go up one of these dunes. I don't know which one, but uh, I'm gonna try to sandboard down one of them and explore. It's kind of hard to walk up these sand dunes because I'm sinking every time I step. So I'm expecting to get sand in everything. Uh, apparently that's normal the snowboard or the sandboard, I have to take my shoes off and use my, use my socks. So I imagine I'll get some sand in my shoes then, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth the fun. Now imagine you're a settler and all you see is mountains and forests and evergreens and plants and animals. Then you come to the other end of the mountain and you see this. There's not one plant out here. All you see is there are waves and ripples from the wind. But there's nothing to stop the wind out here. All right, your boy made it up the hill. A little bit harder than I thought it was, but check out this view.
So I think this will be the dune I slide down, uh, trying to figure out which side will be the coolest. So we got this side, which I, I suppose would be the, where's the sun? So this is about the south side, and this is more, more steep. Um, should I go up to a taller one? This looks fun though. But I gotta consider I have to come back up the hill. So it's been a while since I've gone down a mountain. So we'll see how this sand works. So if you're looking come to come to the park, it's $25 per car. Uh, I don't think they charge per person, but per car. Um, this, these boards here, I got this at Christie Mountain Sports, which is in uh, Alamosa, Colorado. It was $18 for a day to rent. Um, you can turn it in that evening or the next day. So, and they're specially made for the sand. They give you wax and everything to slide down the hills. So, uh, uh, give it a try. This is what my sandboard looks like. So these are built to ride down either barefoot, sandals, or socks. So I'm gonna to to take my shoes off, which I'm not too pleased about, but it's not that big of a deal. Looks, looks comfy. So I have to wax it first. So you can get these if you come and you wanna slide down. You can get these or these little boards you can just sit on and uh, in towns nearby. So I was in Alamosa, uh, by the way, great place to stay, the nicest people you want to meet. But uh, there's a place there where you can rent them in the winter and during the summer there's a lot more places. So. All waxed up, ready to go. All right, I'm on my board, time to go down. Let me get to the slope first. Whoa, whoa. Woo, holy shit. All right, I'm off my ass, let's go down again. Oh yeah. Oh shit, I hit some, I hit a hill. Oh man, let me get up again. Yeah. Oh man, that's what I came for. I guess the sand is kind of wet. <sighs> All right, sand bath for me today. <laughs> Whew. Still beautiful. All right, that was fun. Heading up another one. That looks like a good one. What do you think?
and the sand is a lot harder to walk through than I thought. It's not, it's not that bad, really, but the further you go and the higher up you go, uh, the more difficult it is. But um, it's, it's really beautiful. I mean, this, this view you can't beat. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna go to I'm going to go walk around a little bit more and do a little bit more sandboarding. All right, time for another go down the hill. All right, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't make it very far. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. So what I found is if you hit this wet snow, doesn't really go down, it has to be dry and loose. So, lesson learned. Up another dune. Time for another sand dune. Hopefully this is steep enough so I can have a little fun. Here we go, whoa, yeah, whoa. Oh. Wipe out, whoa. Oh. That was fun, fun day out here, I mean, it get much more beautiful than this. If you would do this, let me know in the comments. If you want to see me do more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. Hey everybody, I think I'm done for the day. Had a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to support me, just uh, click the like button. Uh, let me know that you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and share it if you get a chance. Um, if you want to see me do more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. Um, uh, you know, this is a pretty unique uh, outing today. So, I had, a, you know, like I said, I had a bunch of fun. Uh, let me know. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next, but uh, it's going to be hard to top this one. Take care.